In this demonstration, we will nest profile parts, generate a bill of materials for the purchasing department, generate a cut list, export files to a profile cutting machine, and produce a set of drawings ready for fabrication. Previously, we defined the build strategy and assigned parts to the appropriate level and assembly group. Profiles will be nested according to their position in the build strategy. Before we begin, we will activate the task to manage and track changes. Tracking the creation of or changes to individual nests and parts will be critical when communicating with downstream PLM and ERP systems, especially once construction begins. Unlike plates, profiles are linear nested on available lengths of raw stock. We will arrange our profiles efficiently onto raw profile stock for later use in a cut report. We will nest all these parts on a standard length of the stock, which is 6 meters long. The nests are automatically arranged in the most efficient way possible, accounting for green material and kerf. Once the nest is complete, profiles may change length and the nest will need to be updated. An out-of-date nest will be identified and it can be updated or re-nested. At any given time, we can generate a report from the product model. We will first create a document for the purchasing department, indicating how many profiles we will require for the unit. Next, we will generate a more detailed report for the production department. This report contains all the details for cutting each profile, including its parent assembly, length, and end treatments. We will generate a set of profile drawings containing the dimensions and end cut details to complement the report. The drawings will be generated from predefined drawing templates. Each sheet contains three dimensioned views of the profile, one of the web, flange, and profile section. The title block is populated with keywords from the product model, and the bill of material details all the parts applicable to this drawing and the corresponding part lengths. Our profiles will be cut using a profile cutting machine, which requires an enriched DXF file for generating the cut path. Once we have selected all the parts contained within the unit assembly and filtered for the profile part types, we can generate the required DXF file of each profile. For curved parts, we need a profile drawing detailing the twisted or curved stiffeners used in our project. Our curved profile template adds views including the bending offsets and inverse bending details if applicable. Now that the profiles have been cut, it is time to start assembling the panels. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.